Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. I'm sure you're familiar with a 3D printing pen. It's a pretty popular toy with the kids, and it's actually a pretty useful tool in a 3D printing toolkit. Recently, with the advent of multi-material and multi-color 3D printing, it was only a matter of time before the 3D printing pen would be able to achieve multi-material usage. So today we have the JER Multi-Material 3D Printing Pen. This can handle up to three different colors or materials, has variable temperature settings, and is a really cool 3D printing pen to play with. And I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion and first impressions, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel. Like I was saying in the introduction, the 3D printing pen has been around for quite some time, and it's a pretty popular toy, and it's actually a really handy item to have in your maker kit. I actually use mine when sometimes the supports get a little bit free on a print. I can pause the print and grab my 3D pen and put down just a little bit of filament to secure it to the build plate. It's also great for filling in gaps if you're building cosplay models or any kind of props. With now, with the popularity of multicolor and multi-material in 3D printing, it was actually a matter of time before the 3D printing pen would be able to handle multi-material. And I have this really cool three-color multi-material or multi-color 3D printing pen, and I've been playing with it for a couple of weeks now, and this is a really cool, awesome little tool to have. Now, I actually like this a lot because it has variable temperature settings. You can actually set, now it's not per filament, it's just overall, but you can set different temperatures for different kinds of filament, which is really cool. And previously in most 3D printing pens, you were set with a certain temperature and it was usually a low temperature because they were actually designed for kids. But I think this is more of a tool or an actual addition to your 3D printer because it actually handles three different colors. And you can take the same filament that you're using on your 3D printer and put it right in this pen. And it's really cool. It even features a little bit of retraction too, which is awesome. Now the programmability is very limited. Like I said, you can only set the temperature per pen. You can't set it per channel or per color. And there is a speed variable in here, which is really nice. There is one problem with this, and it's a very minor. You have to remain tethered. You have to keep it plugged in at all times. And that's not a really big deal because obviously with three different strands of filament coming out, you're probably gonna have some sort of spool system going on because you're not just gonna have a few individual pieces. You're gonna have a lot of filament. So you're gonna be tethered in some way. But it would be nice if they could figure out some sort of charged battery for this. Now I know that's probably gonna be impossible since you can actually extrude three colors of filament at the same time. Now you do get kind of an aqua fresh kind of look to it. And I have some prints here to show you. In particular, I wanted to print something so you could really see it. And this little pyramid model that I made was used with uh, black and white filament extruded at the same time. And as you can see, it gives you kind of that aqua fresh look to it. It's still very cool, but there are some ideas that I came up with and I was able to execute those ideas using translucent filament. And that's these little light covers that I have in the back, but we'll talk about those in a minute. I want to talk a little bit more about the pen. Now, when the pen arrived, it came in a really cool box, and you can see the box here. And inside the box were some filament samples, the pen, a couple of little flyers, and of course, the power adapter. Now, there were no instructions for this 3D printing pen, but if you're smart and you've used 3D printing pens in the past, you could probably figure out how to use it. And it took me a couple of minutes, but I did. And there's also a little bit of an explanation on GearBest site. And before we go any further, a quick disclaimer. GearBest did send me this pen for review on the channel. I wasn't compensated in any way. I do get to keep the pen, but we weren't paid for our review, our unboxing, or our opinion in any way for this 3D printing pen. And also, if you really wanna help uh, support the channel, there'll be a coupon code down in the description that'll give you a little bit of a discount on this pen for a limited time. And I'm not sure how long the coupon code's good for. All that stuff will be down in the description but it'll give you a little bit of a break and it also helps support the channel. It won't cost you any extra, but it supports the channel and I really appreciate it. So thank you GearBest for sending the pen over. So once I figured out how to actually use the pen, it only took me a couple of minutes, it was time to start using it. Now there is a couple of little caveats. Again, you have to run tethered. So if you have a lot of extra filament on the spools, 
those spools are going to be really taut and it's going to be really hard to print with those because it's going to be pulling the pen backwards and it's going to cause some pulling on the filament in there. So you want to make sure that you have a little bit of filament unspooled on there. And I did come up with a really cool system. If you follow me on social media, I came up with my own cool little Jeff box to hold on to my filament so it all be spooled in one place and I could put up to five or six rolls on there. But anyway, when you're loading the filament, there's two things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is warm it up first. Now that's very important. Now there is a standby feature that's also with this pen as well. So if it's been sitting for too long, it'll start to retract whatever filaments in the hot end or in the tip of the pen and start to cool down and it'll make an alarm and it'll make a whole bunch of noise. And you'll, I'll show a little video of that here of what happens when the standby function goes on. But once you have the filament loaded into all three slots, the little notches or the little buttons on here, the sliders, are how you activate each of the different filaments. And again, you can blend filaments, but it's more of an aquafresh unless you come up with some way to blend the colors, which I did using translucent filaments. Now, there is a lot of variable temperatures in here. You can bring this up to ABS temperatures, and I believe I got this up to 230 degrees C, and all the way down to like 180 for low temperature filaments if you're using filaments that are low temperature. Now, it does feature a nice little cooling fan in the back here too, so make sure that when you're using it, you keep that free so the air blows and gets in it. Now, the way they have this set up is it lays flat, and it actually lays kind of flat, but there are some vents on the curvature of the pen, so that'll give it a little bit of airflow. So if you're laying it flat, it will get some airflow. So once you have, again, once you have the pen all loaded up with your three filaments and you're ready to go, it's time to start making cool objects. Now, my, my issue with a 3D pen is it's really, for me, it's not a 3D printing pen. Like building 3D objects like this is very difficult. And for a child, it's gonna be even more difficult. Even for me, it was somewhat difficult because you have to let the pen sit there for a while while the filament cools before you can move it away. And it's very time consuming to do that. But if you have some determination, you can make little panels like I did when I made this little car. Now I just used three different colors of filament, all three loaded at once, and I made my little panels and I connected them all together and I made this somewhat cool little car and it does roll. But I did make a couple other things just like this little, little I guess little tchotchke holder and then of course I showed you the pyramid. But here's an example of where if you use multiple color filaments and you have them all extruding at the same time, you're gonna get some pretty ugly results. Now I think this is pretty cool, but it's not very attractive. It, it's very ugly because of the color combinations. So if you are going to extrude, and I did a little, little example here so you could really see how bad the colors blend together. Now if you have some colors that are complementary, you can make all kinds of little things like this little cat face. And I did make a little standing guy not a really great artist when it comes to using the 3D pen, but I figured out, and oh, and I also made a little benchy. And I also figured out that what my use for this pen would be, would be to use translucent filaments, at least for this demo for you guys, and make some cool shapes and show how you could blend colors together. So like with this, with this butterfly, the colors are all, th the three colors that I have in the pen at one time extruding. But using the translucent colors, I figured out that you could actually blend colors together. Now this is uh, blending the green and the blue together and it made kind of a turquoise color. And I'm, I'm, this is kind of a cool light cover that I made. And this again is very, very time consuming to make these, but it's a lot of fun. And if you have some determination and you know what you're going to make, it's, it's pretty cool to use a 3D pen that has three colors because again, you don't have to stop change the colors, clean the nozzle, extrude some filament. Here you just extrude out a little bit, wipe the nozzle off. And another pro tip you might want to do, and I have it here, let me grab this, is keep a little brass wire, and you can see all the strings on it, keep a little brass wire brush handy, and you can clean the nozzle with it, and it, don't, it won't damage the nozzle at all. This is, I think, ceramic on here. It'll leave some material behind, some of the little material from the brass brush, but it's a good way to clean off all the little bits that are on the nozzle when you do change colors. So that's pretty handy to keep around. Another pro tip, do not use your cutting mat, your healing mats, because they do not like heat. And this one, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it here, but this one swelled up in the middle because I had a little sheet of. Another pro tip, build tack handy, and I was using this to use my 3D printing pen. I ended up using it directly on the wood surface of the table here but the build tech protected it and it also made a really cool surface to draw on. So a couple of pro tips, 
Most of all, do not use your healing mat as a place to use your pen because they do not like heat, they will start to shrink because they're designed to heal. So when you put a cut in it, it shrinks back up again. So if you apply heat, it's gonna shrink. So anyway, a lot, of the, a lot of the prints that I did using the three different colors were three colors separately. Once I figured out that I could blend colors together, but they had to be translucent, I started coming up with some cool stained glass ideas. And I thought this was a cool idea, was to make individual panels and then stitch them all together and then put a light behind it. Now, I do have this one here that I made. I just showed you this earlier. This one blended some colors together. I wanted to show you, now this is gonna be really, really bright, and I'm sorry if I flare out the lens, but I just wanted to show you that it makes a really cool light cover. So overall, I think this is a really cool addition to your 3D printer. Now, not just as a toy to play with and make cool little things, but I see this as a lot of different uses. This could actually be its own individual device for say, making your own cool light covers. Or if you wanted to use this in cosplay or in prop building, you could put some different kind of ABS in here. You could use the same color of the prop you built in one of the other slots and maybe a different kind of filament in there, adjust the temperatures on the fly, wait for it to heat up, of course, and then be able to seal or fix cracks or add additional pieces to it. Or if you wanted to decorate prints you've already done, like say you printed a castle print and you wanted to add some more to it, you could put three different colors for like vines. So you could do like a brown and two different colors of green and decorate a model with this pen because you have all three colors loaded. So I think this is a really cool tool. And I also think it's an independent device from a 3D printer because it has a lot of uses. So overall, for about $62, I'm GearVest currently, and like I said, there is a coupon code down in the description that'll give you a little bit of a discount that helps support the channel. You're gonna get a multicolor or multi-material 3D printing pen that has variable temperatures, which is awesome. It's, I've never seen one like that. I know there's pens out there that have variable temperatures, but not that can handle these high temperatures. It also has the ability to mix colors, depending on the colors you use, you could make some really cool three-dimensional designs using this, using say three different colors of gray to create kind of a shadow effect. Or like I did, use translucent filaments and blend them together to make a really cool stained glass looking effect. So it has a lot of uses. And I think this is a really cool item to have, a really cool 3D printing multi-material pen to keep around because it has a lot of uses. So in my opinion, my honest opinion and first impressions of the JAR 3D printing multicolor multi-material pen is that I think this is an awesome tool. I would definitely highly recommend getting one of these because I've got a ton of more uses. I've already thought up five more just recording this video of ways I can utilize this pen. So if you're looking for your first 3D pen or if you already have a 3D pen and you're looking for something that's kind of an upgrade to that, that's kind of a companion to your 3D printer, because like I said, multi-material, multi-temperature comes in a lot of uses. I would highly recommend purchasing one of these. And again, you can purchase it from GearBest and the link will be down below and there's a coupon code there again. But this is something I'm going to use a lot more. I have so much stuff that I printed already with it or used the pen with to make. I guess printed would be the correct term. I, I'm gonna make some more stuff. I'm gonna make more cool things. I really like the idea of making these uh, light covers or the stained glass effect. This was a lot of fun to do. Honestly though, this took me about 45 minutes to an hour to just make the panels and then about another 20 minutes to put them all together. So you're looking at a little over an hour, hour and a half, depending on how uh, accustomed you are to using one of these pens to complete a project like this. Now it's not perfect, there are some holes in it, but I think it adds a little bit of character and it makes it look more handmade. But it definitely has that stained glass look to it and I'm definitely gonna use it as a light in the office here. So if you're looking for something really cool to add to your arsenal of 3D printing devices, definitely check out the JAR 3D printing multicolor multi-material pen, which is available now from GearBest. Well, that about wraps it up for my honest opinion and first impressions of the JAR multi-filament 3D printing pen. A huge shout out to GearBest for sending this over to the channel for us to test and review. Again, we weren't compensated in any way, but we do get to keep the pen and I'm definitely gonna make good use of it and print out all kinds of cool stuff. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative, and if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out the GearBest affiliate link down in the description for this pen, and make sure you use that coupon code for a nice little discount, or all the other ways you can support the channel with the affiliate links, and of course our Patreon page. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, 
comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon. with or without the glasses. Well, that about wraps it up for my honest opinion and first impressions of the JR three color multi-material or multi-filament 3D printing pen. A huge shout out to Gearbest for sending this over for us to review and test on the channel. Of course, we weren't compensated in any way, but we do get to keep the pen. And I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out the Gearbest link down in the description. It is an affiliate link and there is a coupon code that gives you a little bit of a discount but it really helps support the channel. And of course, check out the Patreon link and all the other affiliate links down in that description as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon. No?